today I'm back with another video where I'm gonna do my sinking funds and my savings challenges. I haven't done it in a while because I feel that these are the videos that do way, way, like, get less views than my other ones. So I was like, ah, oh, do I really want to film it um, if it's not getting a lot of views? Because, you know, filming it, editing, and all of that takes a lot of time. So I was like, okay, let me do it and I'm gonna see how it does. If not, I'm probably gonna do it like maybe once a month or something not like every week because i just feel that it doesn't get a lot of views so i'm like why even bother to do it um but let me start with counting on my cash 44 my sinking funds and 280 for my savings challenges so i have 1120 dollars let me just set it out over here so I don't have to, you know, um, be looking through my bills. So let me put that out. And I have obviously been doing my um, savings challenges and my savings off camera, of course, because that is a must. Let me start with my sinking funds. And for sinking funds, um... I'm going to be adding 170, I had 680, and I am going to have 850, so 150 and 70. Then I have um, the savings for my kid, and I have 1,000, I'm going to add 250, and that's going to give me 1,250, so I thought I had another 50. Oh, it's right here. Why are my 50s in the front? I didn't even pay attention. These go in the back. So 250. Then I have uh, medical. Medical has 680. I'm going to be adding 170. I should have 850. So that is 850. And if you guys are new here, I do use prop bunny because I don't want to have a bunch of cash at home obviously Christmas, i have 400 i'm gonna add 100 and that's gonna give me 500 then for school i have 200 i'm gonna add 50 and i have 250 then for car maintenance i have 400 i'm gonna add 100 and i should have 500 I want to, um i want to add like i know i use prop money already but i only have a certain amount of prop money so i kind of want to um, add placeholders to it, but I have to look for those. But I'm gonna leave that like that. Then for my savings challenges, I did finish this one, and this one was for my husband's birthday, so I'll be taking it out. Um, we did get him some shoes, he got some clothes, and a perfume, so he was excited about that. Okay, then I'm going to start with my kids' birthday fund. And this one, my goal is to have $1,800. I'm going to do $50. i am going to do $100. Where did I put my marker? Add um, $100. Let me put this one in the front. And this one is from Jessie C Envelopes. You guys know she has an Etsy shop. She has cute challenges. Then this one is also for my kid, but this is for his sports. So let me get a coin, of course, because I don't have one. Do this. Um, let's see. 25. Okay. And I was doing this where I would scratch it and then fill it up the next week, but I'm thinking I'm just going to do it now. So I have 25. And this one, if he doesn't play soccer next season, he's probably going to do basketball. So we'll see about that. Then this one is for my stickers, of course. And let's see which ones do I want to use. I'm going to be adding 40. Each little Hello Kitty is $10. Aren't these so cute? And I got this one. It was um, a printable. I could not remember where I got it, so I can't tell you guys, but there's a bunch of cute 
cute printables. So this is gonna be $40. And now I just noticed that I never color in their face and I completely color everything right now. And I'm like, why do they look different? <laughs> They're not colored. Oh yeah, yeah. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 40 right there. Then I have another challenge, which is also for my stickers. So that's gonna be $10 each. I can't follow this pattern because who knows where my markers are at. I had them in here in the loop, but apparently they got lost. So that one, this one, and two more. Let me use this one like that and I just enjoy doing these little little um kind of challenges like this because obviously I love stickers and stationery you guys know that so I always like to have that extra cash so 10 20 30 40 and if you guys are ever interested in these envelopes, I do have different options in my Etsy shop. So you guys can check that out. It's always linked down below. I love this print though. You can see the flowers have little faces. Super adorable. Okay, this one is for my cats. Um, just in case I need anything additional that I, you know, they might need. So I'm doing 10 per cat. So, that is like the worst coloring ever. Don't mind it. Um, yeah. Isn't he so cute, this cat? So adorable. Okay, so that's 40. Let's see, let me take 10 out because I don't have any change. Then I have my Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica. I think I'm almost done with this one. Yes, 30 more dollars and I'm done with another challenge. This one kind of took me a long time to finish, but I'm glad I'm done. This one also is from Jesse C Envelopes. Um, you guys should just have cute stuff. Let's see how much do I have because I should have. Seven sixty, and I already know what I'm gonna be using this for, so I'm excited that I have that money. Then my next one is this one is the one for um, Elba. I'm not gonna be doing this one because I ran out of money. I don't. <laughs> I only have five dollars, um, and I haven't found any A bucks, and I haven't found any Starbucks. So hey, you guys, guys, let me show you something that I was working on but i haven't i still haven't finished it i'm like such a procrastinator you guys oh my gosh i don't know if everybody's like this but i often get like these bursts of energy where i'm like okay i'm gonna go, i'm gonna do everything and i do everything and then it's just like i don't finish it so i created my little box of 100 envelopes you know i got the little box from dollar tree these cute stickers of course this is from the coffee monsters co these two this one is from Dollar Tree, I believe. And I made, like, in my opinion, the cutest prints. I mean, super, super adorable. You guys know I love florals. So I'm like, let me create my own envelopes because I had been seeing a lot of these online. But I'm like, if I really have the stuff and the supplies, why am I going to buy it? Might as well just make it. And, like, these envelopes are so cute. Like, I did not laminate it. This is cards, kind of like cardstock. It's very thick paper from Michaels. And the only thing I need to do is um, write the number or get little sticker numbers, you know, like 1 through 100, so like that I can mix them up and not see. Um, and actually print out the sheet that jesse made for me she was so kind enough to make it for me um 
I'll probably show it to you guys next time I do an update. But yeah, I made my own little 100 uh, envelope box. I think it's so cute. It's so my style. I was trying to look for like printables that match my style, but I didn't find any. So I was like, I reached out to her and she's like, oh yeah, I can make it. Like literally she made it for me like the next day. I was so excited. But I still need to print that out and I'm going to show it to you guys, okay? Thanks for watching. I hope you like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.